Here's a question from May 2014. Uh, question 2, uh, 9A build a skater ramp. It says pupils from 9A want to build a skater ramp. The sketches below show measurements from four parts of the skate ramp. The pupils are discussing what form each of the four parts of the skater ramp have what kind of quadrilaterals do the sketches show? Okay, so clearly you've got two rectangles there. Now these ones, they've got pairs of parallel sides and pairs of non-parallel sides. Um, and that is a trapezium when you've got that. So 2.1 quadrilaterals, two trapeziums, trapezia to use the proper plural, and two rectangles. Next question. The pupils want to saw the four parts out of two rectangular pieces of wood with side lengths 122 centimeters and 244 centimeters. Draw sketches of the two pieces. The sketches have to show how the pupils can saw um, in order to get the four parts of uh, for the skater ramp. There should be measurements on your sketches. So for this, I'm really looking for quite an, a well-drawn, accurate thing. So I've done that on separate graph paper. Important features of this, you've got all of the key measurements labelled of the um, the main pieces of wood themselves and then the components of the skater ramp that you're cutting out. You are using the real life measurements, not what they are on the graph, but um, or the diagram, but what they are in real life. And you're stating what the scale is, whatever that happens to be for your diagram. So uh, three main things here. Uh, neatness, good presentation, real life measurements, and scale. The two sketches below show the show how the skater ramp uh, should look when it's finished. And then uh, the question is asking. Uh, what will the skater ramp's length be? And that's on the diagram. So it's basically a missing side in a right angled triangle. You've got 180 centimeters, you've got 56 centimeters, and you're missing the third side of that right angled triangle. So this is a Pythagoras problem. It's nothing to do with angles, it's Pythagoras. So the two shortest sides squared add up to the longest side squared. So the thing we're looking for, the length squared plus 56 squared makes 180 squared. So from that we can figure out what the length is. We'll take away 56 squared from both sides. So the length squared is 180 squared minus 56 squared. So the length itself is the square root of that. And then when you do that, it comes to 171 and a bit. Then we've got the pupils are trying to figure out how steep the skate, skater ramp will be. Um, Conrad is claiming that the skater ramp's gradient or steepness will be more than 20 degrees, but Ali is claiming that the skater ramp's gradient will be less than 20 degrees. Investigate with a drawing or a calculation whether Conrad or Ali are right. And then you've got a helpful diagram here uh, illustrating the situation. So the angle shown here in the bottom right is the one we're trying to figure out. 
we've been given the 180, we've been given the 56, we worked out the length of the skate ramp, but I'd rather use the 56 and the 180 because they're exact figures, they've not been rounded off. Plus, I could have made a mistake in calculating the previous answer. Now, we could get the marks for this just by doing a very accurate diagram and measuring it, but I'd rather use trigonometry. So, what I've got here is the hypotenuse, 180. I've got the opposite side, um, in Danish called uh, Molstorna, and um, the adjacent side, by the way, is called uh, Hosligene. Okay, so I've got the hypotenuse and the opposite, and I'd like to figure out the angle. So if you remember my trigonometry flowchart, does the problem involve angles? Um, yes, it does. We're trying to figure out the angle of the gradient. Does the question ask you to find a missing side? No, it doesn't, because we're trying to figure out the angle. Does the question ask you to find a missing angle? Yes, it does. Do you know the hypotenuse? Yes, we do. Do you know the opposite side? Yes, we do. So the missing angle is going to be the arc sine or inverse sine of the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So working that out, we've got the gradient is the arc sine or inverse sine of 56 divided by 180. And that works out to 18.13. So the angle in there is 18.13 and Ali was right. Remember to make the comment. Also remember to have your calculator in degree mode and not in radian mode when you work that out. So that's the answers in NEAT and the marks. 3444. Four, four.